So now we're going to take a look, continuing with the Windows logon and RDP two factor authentication with Duo. We're going to take a look now at some of the uh, policy features that we can implement. And one in particular covered in the documentation is remember devices for Windows logon. So you can see in the documentation uh, the plans that cover it. So we've got you know the MFA plan uh, access and beyond so we're all good there um, and then we've got uh, version 4.2.0 uh, supports the local trusted sessions which essentially just reduces how often users must repeat the two-factor authentication so you know when you actually authenticate um, with your primary authentication and secondary authentication with duo to uh, the Windows device using local logon. Um, you know, we we want to make the process as easy as possible, reducing the amount of times where um, authentication, secondary authentication, that is uh, may be required. So this feature allows us to, or allows the administrator to actually configure uh, a remember devices policy within the admin panel uh, for this particular application uh, to reduce the amount of times two-factor authentication is required. Um, so we'll take a look at that. Um, just a few things to note. Um, this is not, um, and I think it's covered down here. Uh, da, 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 da. So this is for Windows uh, local uh, logon. It's not for RDP. So if you do attempt to um, yeah, it's here. It says it here. So if you do attempt to use this with RDP, uh, the option shouldn't be displayed. So we can take a look at that as well. So let's get straight into this. So we'll log into our dashboard. I'll just send myself a push. And then if we go to the application, which is the one that we created in part one, for those that have watched part one on my YouTube channel, and we created an application policy um, for this specific application, and we only had uh, two different policies uh, configured, and that was the authentication policy and new user policy. So now let's take a look uh, under the devices. We're going to look at remembered devices. So you can see here under remembered devices, we can allow users to skip subsequent two factor authentication requests. And we have this option down here, which is remember devices for Windows logon. So we'll just go ahead and select that now and we can specify days or hours in here. So let's just say for instance you wanted to um, give users the option to be remembered for a working day, let's say 8 hours. So we'll set this to 8 hours. And it gives you a little note here. Um, which essentially just says that if you know the user does log out or reboot or change network settings, etc., then the two-factor authentication will be reintroduced and enforced, which obviously makes sense. So we, we keep in that security posture there. So it's as simple as that. All we need to do is we need to go and save the policy now. So let's save that. We can see now that we have remembered devices here. So let's see what happens if we try and access the device via RDP. As I said, we shouldn't have the option to remember devices. So I'll just go ahead and put this password in now. And I'll connect to this machine. We should get the duo prompt there. So you can see that there's no option to remember devices here whatsoever. So I'm just going to cancel that because we don't want to um, 
we don't want to proceed with this so I'll just log out of the RDP session and now what I'll do is I'll try access it uh, the same session via the console let me just access the same device rather and we'll log in via the console which is effectively the uh, local logon in my virtual environment there we go so if I now log in let's see what happens now so now you can see uh, we've got the automatic push uh, that's being configured but now you can see for local login we can remember for eight hours uh, which is which what we've set as well so effectively that means once we um, complete the two-factor authentication and get into this device um, we shouldn't be prompted uh, for any more two-factor authentication um, as we said you know there is the um, few things to note and that is you know if your um, there we go so we've got it noted here so if the user changes a network authenticates with offline access while a workstation is disconnected or logs out of the windows machine or re even reboots the, the workstation or kicks, clicks cancel during the workstation unlock duo for windows login invalidates the current trusted session and the next windows login or unlock attempt will require that two-factor authentication again and that's all there is to it so very uh, simple straightforward and making two-factor authentication a lot more usable for the end user